Hi, Devin. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Susie? I'm great. And uh, today is the first episode of your radio show, Shots with Devin. And I thought it would be a good idea to use this first episode to interview you and describe the format of this exciting new show on WTVQ. Thank you, Susie. I'm very excited about this show. All right. So let's begin with the concept. What made you decide to host a radio show? Well, over the years, I've been working with different people and um, kind of hatching this idea of somehow providing interactive photography lessons. Um, The style of photography that I have is a little bit unconventional. It's not traditional photography. I tend to attract a lot of creative people, artistic people, um, people who are looking for a portrait that's unusual, interesting, well-crafted. And so um, these people oftentimes usually are expecting, I do a lot of maternity work, a lot of newborn babies, and uh, because they're already artistic, I find that these people are showing me their photos. They're excited about their own work, they want to talk about it, and they're going to be taking a lot of photos themselves because they have a new family. Yeah. So, that's how it's called a photographer. That's right. Yeah. You know, and, and the fact is, the reality is, is that people take pictures of their own family. That's what they do. They don't call a photographer every time they want a picture. Yeah. You know? So um, when, what I've noticed is they show me their own photography oftentimes, and we talk about their pictures. And I've noticed that there's been this, there is a very big need, a big market for people to uh, get their questions answered. How do I take a better picture of my family? And um, that's basically what I've been thinking about for several years is, well, how do, I, how do I fill that need? How do I use my experience and my abilities to help people to take better pictures of their own families? So I met you through a networking group that we both belong to, BNI, it's a business networking group. And um, I remember when I first met you, I was asking myself, why is Susie doing this? What's a radio personality? How are they going to benefit from business networking? Well, we had breakfast together one day, and we had a nice conversation, you and I. And um, I had this idea, well, let's do these photography lessons on the radio. What yeah, a great idea. I, I thought it was a great idea. It was uh, totally unexpected. And I thought, wow, what, what an interesting concept. But then I thought to myself, how on earth, with photography that's such a visual medium, how can you give photography lessons over the radio? Yes, that's the question, right? Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm excited about this, so I'm telling a lot of my friends and clients about what I'm doing, and that is the first question. How are you going to do photography lessons over the radio? Well, um, my belief is that when you have a little bit of creativity, a little bit of imagination, you can pretty much accomplish anything you want to do. So I was thinking about it, and I said, you know, the technology is there. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's integrate the website to the radio show. So I created a, a section on my website, devinshots.com, uh, www.devinshots.com, slash WTBQ. Now, when I start my show, I'll invite the listeners to um, tune into their website, devinshots.com, slash WTBQ, and they can follow along. We're going to have photos right there on the website. I'm going to have a section for the listeners to put up their photos, and then when people have questions, they can email me their questions, and we'll use those as topics for our lessons on the show. This is an amazing concept, and uh, really, you know, you can do wonders with technology these days, but can you show me how it's actually going to work? Yeah, it's it's really easy. Right. We'll start the show, we'll invite the listeners to tune in to www.devinshots.com, D-E- V-I-N-S-H-O-T-S dot com slash W-T-V-Q. So, you bring that up. So, if someone's stupid like me, (laughs) You bring it up on the browser, right? Just like you go into Google or whatever else. Uh Now, you'll see on that page, there's a link that says today. So, we click that link. Boom. Now, there's another link. Let me find my notes here. There's another link for um, listener questions. There it is. So we click on listener questions, boom, and there we go. Here's a question. Mm-hmm. Ashley has a question. How do I take better pictures of my pets? <laughs> so there we are. We see that um, she put a picture of her pet on, a bad picture of her pet. Bad picture. <laughs> <laughs> the pet's not bad, but the picture's bad, right? <laughs> um, so she wants to know how to take better pictures of it. So it's nice that we have her photo. And so now what I did was I posted some examples on how she can improve. 
She had some problems with composition, some problems with light, and uh, we answered her questions. Now, during the show, during a, a photo lesson on the show, we would describe in detail how to uh, use the camera and use the composition better for her pets, how to interact with the pets as well. And the listeners can actually follow along right on their computers and see exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, that's really cool. And so how do listeners contact you with their questions? Very easy, through right. email. All they uh, need to do is send me an email to questions at devonshots.com. Again. And we will have the answer to every question. No, but what we'll do is we'll use those questions yeah. as the format for mm -hmm. the show. So we'll take uh, common questions, most popular questions, or extremely interesting questions, mm -hmm. and we'll build a lesson around that. Um, you'll get an automatic answer when you send me that email, and it'll give you some submission information on how you get that photograph to me mm -hmm. and, and that. And then um, tune into the show, and one day maybe your question will be answered. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. And what kind of topics do you think people will want to discuss? Anything that has to do with photography, mm -hmm. really. Um, some people have questions regarding digital versus film. Um, many families have questions, how do I take a better portrait of my children? How do I take better um, vacation photos? How, how do I shoot my husband? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends how you want to shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> um, landscapes are difficult to do. Yeah. People have questions how to do that. Uh, many men have questions, how do I do a better job taking photographs of my jobs for my portfolio? Or how, how do I take better pictures of my kids playing sports? Anything. Whatever your question is, email me at questions at devonshots.com and uh, we'll try to work them into the show. I have another question for you. Um, do you intend to teach people how to retouch photos? Because I think a lot of people would, um, you know, there are all sorts of programs and you can retouch your photos. Will you be able to um, discuss those kinds of topics as well? Absolutely, yes. Um, most of the newer cameras, the digital cameras, come with some sort of image manipulation software. Usually it's a scaled down version of Photoshop or a similar type of software. And um, although all the different programs are individual, there are basics of, to how they work and their basic concepts. Mm -hmm. So yes, when people have questions, how do I get rid of a uh, red eye, for example? Right. Or how do I crop? Well, there's really two answers to those questions. The first answer comes with how you shoot the photograph to begin with. Mm -hmm. And then the second is how do you use that software to enhance the photograph. Right. This is so exciting. I mean, I'm really happy that you're, you're doing this show, and I, I think it's a wonderful concept. And I think a lot of listeners will be tuning in, and 